Alright, welcome back guys. This is part two of um, germinating the penthe seeds. So if you missed part one, check that out. Uh, this is the first time I've attempted to germinate nepenthe seeds. So what I have done is we are about to sew them together. I have created a couple different containers here. These containers are going to go in my greenhouse. They're both virtually the same. They're both um, berry containers that easily sort of form into a greenhouse. You can put the lid on, yet they have vents and everything like that as well. So if we look at um, the two containers, there's kind of a rainbow of um, substrates in there. We have a chops sphagnum moss, a uh, chops sphagnum moss and perlite, and then over here we have just a peat moss perlite, and I have done the same for the other side here. I'm not sure what substrate they're going to germinate best in, so we have the three. I also decided to put them in two different containers, so I can try two different um, microclimates in the greenhouse. Maybe one a little bit darker, one a little bit lighter, one a little bit cooler, one a little bit warmer. And so I tucked the seeds. I'm just going to back you up here so you can see a little bit better. So I tucked the seeds in a little envelope I made here, just a piece of paper. And you can see all the seeds there in the center. So I think what I'm going to do is find something sterile so I can actually um, maneuver them and put them into the media. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I decided to um, use some tweezers. They can sort of help as a pushy and a grabby tool. And that way we can kind of spread them out. They, um, I want to put half in one container and then half in the other. So I'm just going to lightly um, shake them down and they kind of separate as they fall. They were um, clipped off the pod or off the plant today and it was only just a matter of a few hours ago that they were still on the, the parent plant. Uh, if you missed part one, I was saying that the parent plant is kind of unidentified. Oops, there's a big clump that I just put there. Now I'll spread them out a bit. I posted a photo of it on the first video and I might just post that same photo again. I'd love to um, get an ID on the mother plant anyways. The father could be one of a few different ones. Um, there was, these were pollinated naturally, not by hand, so he doesn't um, know what exactly he has um, pollinating them. He has a, a few different um, butterflies and insects and that in his greenhouse. It's a rather large greenhouse. So, we don't know what exactly pollinated them, but I do know it wasn't pollinated by hand. So these are going to be a cross. It's just a matter of what they're crossed with. There's one container done. They're sort of evenly spread out. So I'm going to move the tripod over to the next container. And we can continue to sprinkle and talk here. So, um, one potential father could be a uh, Nepenthes truncata. Another potential father could be a uh, Ventrata. Um, another potential father could be a uh, Miranda. And there was one other one there that was a smaller plant. Slight chance, um, Nepenthes, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Rafistania. I'm probably saying it totally wrong. I would have to see it in writing before I could really pronounce it. But um, I'll try to remember to put it in the the title down there with the subtitles below. There we go. So those are planted now. Um, I'm going to close the lids just like so. And I think these are great because they're going to keep in humidity. They're going to allow for air exchange in all different sides. They're going to um, go in the greenhouse, which, as you guys probably know, has high humidity in the first place. And yeah, now I guess the waiting game um, commences. Will it be the dull strawberries on the left, or the neutral ripe blueberries on the right that 
I have the most success with. So anyways, I'm going to post the picture of that um, Nepenthes, and maybe one of you guys out there can identify the mother plant for me. At least we'll know it's a blank cross. I don't think we'll ever know the father, but um, such is life. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. If you missed part one, make sure you check out part one. It just shows the seed pods and actually what they look like and how you get the seeds out of the seed pod. Alright guys, thanks for watching.